checking all the little things. Seven years old. Wow, look at all that fungus growing in here. That's pretty cool. Looks toxic. Green snakes overwinter inside ant mounds, supposedly, and down in holes. And they like getting inside old logs. Okay, I think we have just one more board up here. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we just caught this smooth green snake out here on Weir's Point on Kotu. And we're gonna, uh, it's a new snake. It hasn't been marked before. And this is a male. The tail is really long and you can, these are the male sexual parts right in here behind the cloaca. It's starting to musk a little bit. Um, so it hasn't been marked. We're gonna measure it, weigh it, and we are gonna mark it, which doesn't, uh, it's a permanent mark. Um, and we'll be able to know if we recapture this in the future, which is really, really important. These snakes only live on Kotu on Nantucket. Um, they also live on the mainland as well, but here on Nantucket, this is the only spot for them. How long has this study been going on? Study's been going on from uh, since 2007. Scott Smyers started it um, then, and Ryan Mitchell interns have been running the snake boards um, since then, um, every summer. Go out uh, once or twice a week, catch all the snakes, and then take a bunch of data on them. Okay, so i got to wrangle this snake a little bit. measure okay snout vent was 281 millimeters that's svl mm -hmm. you can see how long the tail is here wow 200 what was 281 yep okay okay the tail tip is 421 is the total length okay um head width i've been starting to measure head width here is little buddy seven millimeters and we'll just get the mass here it's 11 grams okay come on out of there buddy so how about the anal plate Divided? Oh, good question. Thank you. The anal plate actually is divided. So the anal plate is just this little larger scale underneath here, and it, there's a little division right in there. Some snakes are divided, others are not. We also check the snake just for scarring, any kind of sign of something trying to eat it. Um, and this snake looks really good. Most of the green snakes we see don't have any scarring. A lot of the garter snakes do. Probably from birds and feral cats and. Um, other predators, maybe some dogs. So where are we right now? We're uh, up near the top of the harbor, head of the harbor, on Weir's Point, and uh, we're in among all the, the vegetation growing here um, in this really cool spot of Nantucket. Mostly poison ivy and cedar. All right, so I'm gonna mark this guy number 100. One, so it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We always double check, give it a little mark right there. Okay, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now this does sting the snake for a moment, but it uh, it's a permanent mark in the snake. It doesn't affect their survival or their ability to eat or anything like that. There we go. Just kind of scar that scale a little bit, and it'll it won't when it molts the scar will still be visible. Okay, good deal. So that's a number one hundred. Andrew McKenna Forster, Mariah Mitchell Association. Thank you. Yeah, so we've You're marked welcome. the snake, and I should note that we have a we have a permit to do all this work. You have to get a permission from the state. And um, we're just going to let it go right back under the board where we found it. 
so it can continue its life out here on Nantucket. And you never want to lift up something and put it on top of a snake. They will uh, not appreciate that, and you can crush them, actually. Of course, this guy is being very... Okay, go ahead, buddy. There we go. Now it's going right underneath this board. Oh, there he is. If he wants to move away, we'll just let him go away. We always try to put the snakes back right where we found them.